All right, this video is on a Daiwa or a FLIR or a Lorex NVR. Uh, this is a smaller unit. This is an 8 channel NVR. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to uh, replace the hard drive in it. So if you want to upgrade this hard drive, um, put a bigger hard drive in it or just replace the a defective hard drive. So this unit here has no screws in the back. Um, some of the older models have screws on the sides in the back. The newer plastic ones, the smaller lighter weight ones, it still uses a full size hard drive. So that's going to be a Seagate um, hard drive in there or something similar to that. But on the bottom, there are six screws. So basically the, the, the board, the computer board is screwed from the inside. So you can't unscrew the screws and make anything fall apart you don't want to. So on the bottom here, you'll see the six screws that are facing outward towards you. I'm gonna remove those. Don't remove the four for the hard drive yet. And you can tell the hard drive because it says um, our HDD right there on it. So you'll know those are the hard drive screws. So I'm gonna remove those six screws. Without dropping them on the floor, preferably. Sorry, fumble fingers today. Right in the hole. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over. And the cover's gonna come right off of it. I'm gonna try to retrieve my other screw. Not gonna happen because it's in the hard drive. So let's have the um, cover off. I'm gonna push down this little tab here. Unplug this power wire or this wire. This other wire just wiggles and pulls to the back. So if you wiggle it gently, pull it to the back. Your hard drive is now unhooked. I'm gonna flip it back over. Now these have slots to the back, so you don't need to remove these all the way if you were just taking it out. If you're replacing it. You may as well take them all the way out because you're going to have to use these four screws for your new hard drive anyhow. So I'll take those out. And when I do that, when I lift up the hard drive, will be right there. And there's my screw that I dropped earlier that I'm going to retrieve out of here. Alright, so here's our replacement hard drive. All I want to do is I want to start the four screws that we took out of the old one. I don't want to screw them in all the way, I just basically want to get them started. So one or two threads in and that's it. So those are barely in, so don't drop them. If you do, you have to be retrieving them like I did earlier. I'm going to make sure my wires are out of the way. What I want to do is I want to drop this in to the slots. And I'm going to slide it forward. And that may happen to you, but I just didn't have it in far enough. But again, that just makes it easier when you go to tighten them down from this side. Uh, they're already started and the hard drive doesn't just keep falling out of place. I'm going to tighten these up. I don't want to over tighten them. I just want to snug them up. If you get them in there too loose, the hard drive may vibrate. So make sure you tighten them. But again, you don't want to over tighten them. And while you're doing that, make sure you don't damage your fan. If you do need to replace the fan, there's two little screws on the bottom of here. And you can replace these fans also. Um, if it's in a hot location, you can actually add a second fan to it if you wanted to, or a bigger fan. Now once I have that in, I'm going to plug in my hard drive again. Doesn't matter which order you can plug in. Big wire first, little wire first, whatever you want to do. Once my hard drive is plugged in, I'm going to put the lid back on. Like so. I'll flip it back over and I'll be careful not to drop my screws down in the holes this time. Uh, that way I don't have to take the hard drive back out to retrieve them. Same thing on this. You don't want to over tighten it. You just want to put them in, snug them up, and that's it. If you want to use a regular screwdriver, uh, to me it just takes a little bit longer. I've been using impacts for years, so 
I'm used to it. I've also got an adjustment on mine. I can turn the uh, torque down if I wanted to to keep me from blasting it off there if I wasn't too careful, but I'm pretty cautious with it. And again, this will work with FLIR, uh, Lorex, or Dewa or Dehua, however you want to pronounce it. And it works with all the smaller series models like this one. And I'll put a link in the description to the hard drive that I normally use. I'm going to put a 4 terabyte in here. And I use a uh, Seagate and a surveillance uh, style. I right, hope that helps some people out. Um, it's a pretty simple uh, operation to do. Once you put that in, uh, when you turn it back on, the unit may beep at you a couple times. It'll come up and ask you to format the hard drive. Make sure you hit yes when you do that. If not, you have to go into the hard drives, click on it and format it. Nine times out of ten, it comes up and tells you it's a new hard drive. Please click here to format. You click it and follow the instructions on the screen. Questions, comments, please leave them below. And if you have questions, I'll try to answer them as soon as I can.